Hello everyone, I'm Saf Niazi and I'm, I'm here to give you a talk on a data science and financial institute. So, every bank have two types of data. One is a transactional, where they maintain your money activities and other is non-transactional data, where they maintain your personal information like age, marital status and similar things. But the local banks dump their non-transactional data into the data lake and they don't use it further. So, we made a portal, Follow Me, which help us to recommend local merchants and customers. So, what's the need of this? So, if you understand your customer better, then you can retain them. And retaining a customer is a big thing. So, for this POC, we use a million row data. And uh, for uh, storing and ETL purpose, we, would, we use Hadoop. So, you don't have to worry about the cost. So, this is the technological stack which we use. So, for uh, importing the data from Oracle, we use a scoop and dump the data into the HDFS, into the parquet format for the compression. So, for querying, we use a Spark. So, Spark SQL is much more faster, even 100 times faster than the traditional SQLs if you have that much of a big data. And whatever the result we have, we stored in the edge base in a key value pair. Every key has a value. So, you just uh, transfer that data into the solar for indexing and whatever the insights we have, we just show into the portal. I also attach a snippet so that developers understand what I'm doing here. So, what, I'm, uh, what are the insights we are talking about? So, if you're talking about the customer level, like, you know your spendings, right? How much money you spend on travel, how much you're spending your money onto the food. But if you want to know how much money people similar like you spend, so, when I'm talking about people similar like you, that means similar in terms of your age, in terms of your salary, in terms of your marital status, and similar filters. So you can see that into this portal and analyze what your spending pattern is and how other spend their money. But if you're talking about the merchant level, so you can ask the merchant that this particular town have that particular of market, you can spend their, their, uh, that much of amount there, so you get better results. So this is the high level, but if you want to tell the local merchants what you should sell there, then it's the next step. Like, suppose in India, majority of the boys who loves to uh, get a coffee, after take a coffee, they smoke. It's only assumption, okay? So, not the coffee merchant, not the smoker merchant knows about the habit, but only the bank or the financial institute know this. Because you just swap your card to payment. So because of that, you can tell the merchant if you just give the combo of a coffee or a cigarette, then you get more benefit. So you can use the data which is dumped in the data lake into some profitable manner. So in last, I want to conclude, use data because it's a really important asset for all of us and don't store data only for a storage purpose. Thank you.